So, Michael, I think it's our first time talking to you. Uh, we're here with Baby Audio, and you've got an exciting new product. I mean, this is a first look, right? Yes, I do. So this here is Atoms. This is our brand new physical modeling synthesizer. Uh, so it's sort of a unique concept in physical modeling that it's based on, uh, which is called a mass spring interaction network. Oh, so that's it's very rich sounding. Yeah, it's sort of a unique um, approach where we basically have a complex underlying model, which is distilled down into these six really simple parameters. And there's a lot you can do kind of just with those parameters, but there's also a great internal automation system. Uh, so this is for essentially getting everything that Atoms does into motion. So you have a number of options for automating uh, the behavior of like uh, these knobs here. And that's what really contributes to this sort of evolving organic texture that it has. Each of those controls, they actually correspond to a different uh, type of behavior inside of the model. Uh, so when you see the visualizer, Right, you can see the sort of quiver and the movement about it. Yeah, those. so it's actually giving you a kind of visual feedback on the physical processes that are going on underneath. So it's really fun as you're experimenting. So I, you, I heard the word spring in the technology, and I'm thinking, I seem to remember something ages ago that was spring-based audio. Is it, is, it, is it based on that stuff, or what's, it, what's the...? Yeah, so it's just a unique implementation of, uh, of physical modeling where the, the actual system underneath it is, uh, it's like a network of masses and springs. So each mass has sort of a, a, an inertia associated with it and a weight associated with it, and the springs connect them. And when it, it, the system vibrates, it's excited by like a virtual bow. So there's a bowing action that excites the model and that produces the sound. So um, most physical models have uh, sort of pluck uh, and bow and sort of twang, specific types of excitement. Do we get different kind of excitement or is it all bow stuff? Uh, yeah, so it is just a bow, but there's a really wide range. Where when you think about a, a bowing action, it can go from very abrupt. So that's uh, the control that uh, uh, is associated with that is force here. And that just controls the application of the bow to the network. So shorter values are more abrupt, like a pizzicato almost, where longer values are kind of more gradual and legato. So I understand this is kind of a first look. There's not, uh, they haven't got a load of voices or anything for it yet, or there's not a lot of patches, right? Uh, so we do have quite a few presets uh, that are that are in the in the works right now. So a lot of great sound designers that we've partnered with, and uh, frankly, I'm pretty excited by the stuff that I've heard coming back. It can really do a huge range of stuff, kind of going from that natural sort of spring-like textures all the way into sci-fi, cinematic, atmospheric so stuff. So would, would the sound designers be working with this interface, or do they have a, a, a different way of kind of doing sounds? So they're just working with what you see right there, and uh, once you get into it, it is deep. We want it to be simple on its face and for, fun for everyone to experiment with, but with a lot of depth once you come to know it and explore it. So uh, uh, what kind of uh, voice count can you get out of it? Is it CPU efficient? I mean, how's uh, it? It's sort of limited by, uh, by your system, so physical modeling, uh, you know, it is a little bit more intensive, but I, I, we think that's a good sign where you know, we, want, we want to do something that's really advanced with the CPU resources that are available today. Uh, so you know, it, it'll handle as much as you can throw at it. Okay, and are there effects and stuff on board or is it all, uh, yeah, how, how does that work? Yeah, so we have a built-in uh, drive, which is an interesting saturation function as well as a traditional low-pass filter, which helps for sound design. And then on top of that, we've got this sort of bottom section here, which is, some unique sort of uh, ways to implement uh, traditional types of effects like chorus and vibrato, but with the physical model itself. Oh right, okay. So you get so where where I also sorry I also noticed actually <laughs> while I was up there there's a, an MPE thing as well. So does yes. that mean it's going to respond to MPE? I guess it does. Yeah, right? polyphonic aftertouch via MPE. So uh, if you look in our automation menu, one of the options uh, is an MPE. Uh, I don't think we have it on that one. Uh, but we do have an MPE option for the, the automation section, which essentially allows you to map that per key automation pressure to any of the, the parameters to modulate with. So this is very different. I mean, I think your la was your last instrument the, uh, um, uh, it's like a 101 type of based. Yeah, so it's a BA1, which uh, you know, is inspired by a pretty classic, uh, well-known, like almost toy, toy synth, but takes it beyond that. So that's kind of the 
So, I mean, this is a really uh, completely new area of, yeah. Yes, this is from the ground up, and uh, the researcher we've worked with, uh, he's got a really inspiring take on uh, this particular uh, style of physical modeling, and so we were just excited to build something that was completely new. So, uh, you're showing us just this uh, basic pro. Can we maybe have a listen to some more sure. registers? Because we've got this. So, there you can kind of hear some of the stringiness. And then a little bit of how it evolves is if you hold things down and you know get get through the rest of that sound, you can see some of the uh, automation really going up and down there as you uh, and you get sort of pitch variants and spatial variants. It sounds like as well. Exactly. Uh, so this parameter is kind of interesting. It overtones controls sort of the the place on the uh, on the physical modeling network where the bow is is actually applied. So. Just like a real stringed instrument, if you play closer to the bridge, you get sort of sharper, more more uh, abrupt harmonics. And what about real low down? Well, I'd, like to, I'd like to hear a real low note. Yeah. So it will get okay. really fat and really punchy, and it's great because you see the, the, the display just going absolutely <laughs> wild. And that's just uh, kind of showing you how that behavior is producing those tones. So when are we going to be able to hear some more presets and more sounds? Is it, is it uh, release imminent? Uh, so release is February 7th. Uh, it's going to be on an introductory offer for $59 to start. And uh, yeah, you can find it on our website. Wow, thank you very much.